Phillips. Okay, so last time we were here, we, uh, <laughs> turns out, what was her name? That's a wrong piece of paper. Um, Peko, Peko Peko, turned out to be the murderer. Her and Fu Yu ended up being in love. And she accidentally almost killed Fuyu. Oh shit, hey crimes. Uh, you're, you're on super quick. I didn't even get through my intro yet. Um, yeah, Peko and Fuyu were together and Fuyu got hit by the sword. But, um, uh, yeah. That, that happened. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It happened. Uh, dot dot dot. Hey Crimes, how was your day? No one's here, right? Why, why are we here? Why are you here? <laughs> Man, I can totally see it now. These, those idiots. I can't wait to see the surprised look on their dumb faces. <laughs> But they'll probably be happy about it. They'll probably be very, very happy about it. Alrighty. <laughs> Why? What the fuck? Who's dead? Who'd you kill? Ahem. Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Yep. Good morning, everyone. Now then, let's show. Ah, a bunch of monokumas. Morning, huh? In the end, I was so worried about Fuyu that I couldn't sleep. Poor guy, I felt so bad. Involving himself in Peko's execution like that, suffering all those wounds. Is he really gonna live? And was it really okay to leave him in Monokuma's care? Worry has consumed my heart. My body feels terribly burdened, but that worry ends here. There's no way I can just lay here and do nothing. Loosening my stiff body, I slowly sat up in bed. I guess I should head over to the restaurant. I guess. I should meet up with everyone at the restaurant first and then we'll question Monokuma afterwards. I'm definitely gonna find out if Fuyu is safe or not. Okay, I guess. We'll go find out if Fuyu is safe or not. Oh man, I haven't done this in so long. Oh god damn it! Every single time! Oh, I can go this way. Is anybody in this one? I will just refer. Hotel, hotel. Of course she's here. Good morning, Chiaki. Hey. Yeah, good morning. You're up earlier than usual. Yeah, I can't really stay put and do nothing. Hmm. I see. Gaming as usual. No, I have a slight feeling she's deliberately con deliberately concentrating on her aim. Uh, crime. So. Peko, the, the ultimate swords woman, she and Fuyu are, um, they've been friends for a very long time since she was a baby. The Kuzu clan took her in when her parents abandoned her and they were like friends forever. And uh, Fuyu found out obviously that, uh, what's her name? God damn it, I forget her name. Anyway, that redhead chick, she, uh, she uh, got killed. No, Sonia did not get executed. It was actually Peko. Peko, the swordswoman, was the murderer. Uh, yeah, but she got executed. It was pretty cool. And, oh, Fuyu got Fuyu got hit in the middle. Uh, he he got chopped up a little bit, so he's in the hospital. Uh, but yeah, it was Peko, not Sonia. I swore it was Sonia. Uh, like she's trying to keep her sadness from showing by being completely focused in gaming. Yeah, I know, right? What the fuck for real? Yeah, Peko did it. Um, it's on my past broadcast if you just want to watch the execution. It was pretty sweet. Hachime, you're already here? Yoko, you're the only one here. What are you acting so anxious about? I'm not acting anxious. I just happened to be awake by coincidence, so I came here early. I see. This girl, there's something strange. She's trying to pull some kind of dirty trick again. I just happened to be away by coincidence. Oh. What the? What am I supposed to do? 
Oh, what the shit is that? What the fuck is this? Oh my god, a panel has been propped up. It's giving off a dreadful, unsettling vibe. What the fuck? There's a bunch of photos pasted all over it. Did a Mahiro take these photos? But what's with the terrifying ambiance? Seriously. What's this? What an adorable decoration. I don't know who did it, but they must have spent so much time and effort doing their best to make it. <laughs> but he was going to be so happy, too. I don't know who did this, but we should be grateful to them, right? Hey, Yoko, did you? Hello. Ah, good morning. It's so rare to run into you two here. Hmm, what are you looking at? What are these horrifying photos? I expected that reaction. Yo, what happened? You? What's up, what's up? Is it a brawl? What's this ruckus in the morning? This, this is bad. Please, take a look at those photos. Whoa. What the heck? Hey, 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 hey! What kind of ominous crap is this? Is this like something you use for sorcery? Mm. This is clearing an insult against Mahiru. I don't know who the hell did this crap, but they've got a lot of nerve. <laughs> this is too much to actually treat Mahiru's photo like this. Uh, everyone, I understand how you guys feel, but it's good probably... Day. Oh, hello. Good nom nom nummy! Good, good mom girl. Yeah. What's with those nasty photos? They're giving off a crazy huge ominous aura. Something like this. There's no excuse. This is too terrible. How could someone be capable of such a heartless trick? No, seriously, it's just... Hey! I know, right? Seriously, it's just the worst. Jeez, I wonder who the hell did it. You did! You're right, there's no way Marhiro will be happy with this. She won't just be unhappy, I'm sure she'll be so angry she'll cry tears of blood. Man, who the hell did this? No. We'll have to search for the criminal later. In the meantime, <laughs> fire starts the fire, we'll have a grand bonfire so Marhiro can reach Nirvana. Seriously? This oh, is... Dude. You can't. Someone took their time to make this memorial so we can mourn for Mahiru. You can't burn it. <gasps> mourn Mahiru? What the heck? <laughs> yeah, I know, this, these people are still alive. There's still a good bit of people alive. You sure it's not the other way around? I'm pretty sure whoever made this is totally disrespecting Mahiru. You think so? I think it's just a little clumsy. See? Why don't you take a closer look at the intent instead of focusing on appearances? Perhaps. Yeah. Despite their clumsiness, I'm sure whoever made this probably did their very best. If you look at it carefully, don't you feel like you can sense their feeling? Mahiru is not alone. She'll be with us now and forever. Oh my god, the, the feels were... They came last time because, um... It almost made me tear up. Right? So I definitely think, yep, it's a nice decoration. After hearing you say that, I'm starting to feel the same thing. You, you sure are simple-minded. <laughs> I don't really want to burn it. Huh? huh? It cannot be. There's a person who made this. <laughs> Mahiru was really, really nice. She politely taught me how to tie my kimono. <laughs> She was really good at taking care of others. Mahiru's probably lonely by herself, so I wanted to tell her that she's not alone, even if she's in heaven. I did want to make it look better, but unless I'm dancing, I'm so clumsy at whatever I do. It's okay! I'm sorry! I spoke out of turn without considering your feelings at all. <laughs> sorry, Hyoko. I'm sorry! Well... How should I put this? It looks like we might just misunderstood. <laughs> Now that I take a closer look, it looks like you put a lot of thought into the decoration. For now. Let's keep this thing around until we get off this island. No. It should come with us when we get off this island, too. It would be a waste to leave behind. Such wonderful photos. <laughs> Bob Sniffle, Sob Sniffle. So we're not gonna burn it? Impossible. We would never burn it! Mm. Weren't you the one who started shouting that? I got it! Fine, then I'll forgive you all. Except me, Khan, of course. What does she have against her? Oh my. Why are you so strict with me? I see. I see. I really can't imagine Kyoko being so diligent and earnest about something. Huh. Who cares about that? <laughs> Kyoko has a very kind heart. Kind? Oh, come on. It's not like that. Jeez. Stop it already. <laughs> you don't have to be embarrassed. Stop it. <laughs> Kyoko is so adorable when she's embarrassed. Shut up. Jesus Christ. Why only me? At any rate, I hope this finally I hope this is finally settled now. <laughs> It's very like you guys to settle things, to settle things like this. Feels like they made such a huge fuss about it and finally settled things. That's just like you guys. Well, little by little, we're trying to understand and find the good in each other. That's the reason why we can move forward without feeling despair toward our situation. Yeah. 
Yeah, you guys are all splendid. Splendid, huh? This body is uncooperative. What? What is this object that is releasing such a foul aura? I know. I agree with you, Crimes. Hmm, Malice clings to Mahir even after her death. We'll be sucked in if we look directly at it. Worst. It doesn't belong in a hopeful place like this at all. It's absolutely brimming with Malice. Let's just hurry up and destroy it. I can't stand to look at it for even one more second. I'll destroy you! Now that those two are here, do you think we're splendid? Looks like it's going to take a little more time. I completely agree. The scene unfolding in front of me was so embarrassing, all I could do was sigh. But at least it was a perfect, a peaceful scene. However, we didn't realize just how short-lived this peace would be. Even though we were finally bonding, a situation brewing like a huge fracture running between us all. Uh, another motive? And that would be the trigger for a truly horrible and atrocious incident. Not just for me, but for every single one of us. We just hadn't realized it yet. <coughs> Obviously, it's going to be another motive. What the fuck is that? Trapped by the ocean scent. Daily life. So, I remember they were saying Gundam had a good uh, thing. Phew, I'm stuffed. I can't eat another damn bite. Hey. And you sure do eat a lot. Don't you ever worry about, like, choking? Yo. I never get worried. <laughs> you don't? Wait, what about Fuyu? Um, is he really all right? I was so, so concerned. I could not sleep at all last night. Huh? Plus, if his fate is, Monokim, is in Monokim's paws, I'm even more concerned. <laughs> if I only could have tended his wound somehow, I wish, I wish I wasn't so useless. Well, I don't think you guys should worry about it. Do you just forget everything that happens when you eat? Right. Now that I've got a belly full of belly full of food, I'm all set. I'll show you my serious side. Leave the rest to me. I'll question Monokuma and avenge for you. That's obviously wrong. He's not even dead. Sheesh. What? What vengeance? You just want to test your skill. <laughs> well, yeah. Gundam had a good like upgrade for the class trials. <laughs> Supposedly, the trial told me that. Like, go talk to Gundam. He's got good stuff. Hello. Okay, everyone. Can I have your attention, please? Oh, it's you, Minomi. What do you want? Monomi. Jeez. Man, the fun mood's over now, thanks to you. Did I just ruin the mood? <laughs> Jeez, don't treat me so harshly. I did my very best today, too. Hey, who the hell are you? We're talking about something important, so go away. Okay, I'm sorry. Stop. Wait, no, I definitely don't want to be treated like an outsider. Just what do you want? What do you mean by I did my very best? Um, hey. Well, once again, I defeated another mono beast. Oh, yeah. How do you like me now? I worked hard, didn't I? Hey. If you defeated a mono beast, that means that's right. You are now able to visit yet another island. Let's all live happily ever after with each other this time, okay? No more getting tricked by a monokuma. No more thinking about leaving this island. Let's all live together peacefully as best friends. Uh, nope. Are you are you guys thinking about leaving the island even though I just said not to? Do you have a minute? What happened to Fuyu? Fuyu? Um, you see, I don't really know. Did you see it's a waste of time asking her? In the end, she's just Monokuma's ally. You're also part of that mysterious World End organization, aren't you? Hey! That's the organization that brought us to this island, right? Since you're the one who brought us to this island, that's gotta be it. Hey. I don't know if you're a rabbit or a pig, but just what are you planning? This is a great opportunity. It's finally, it's time you finally fill this in. <gasps> what a dilemma, but that's the one thing I can't Hi. say. Truly, this is a tragedy of middle management. Yeah, middle sec. management does suck. She ran away again. She's always like this when things get inconvenient for her. Oh. Who cares about Monami? More importantly, <laughs> she mentioned a new island. What should we do? However, I do not think we should be exploring when Fuyu is in danger. Yeah. But we must move forward no matter what despair stands in our way. That's what hope should be. What hope? You always say that just before you lead us into a trap. There's something wrong with you. You're seriously just as annoying as Monokuma. Hey, hey. I'm also worried about Fuyu, but is it really okay if we just stay here and do nothing? Isn't it better if we do what we can? She's right. Let's try to find a way off this island before mm -hmm. she comes back. You are right. Fuyu will not recover any faster if we just stand around and do nothing. <laughs> I agree with Miss Sonia. Right. Then it's decided let's explore. Wait. So wouldn't it be faster just to beat up the rest of the Monobies and search all the islands all at me. once? If that's strange, like a rabbit can defeat one, it should be easy for us too. Hold on. Don't think about doing anything reckless. <laughs> this is the this is the third trial. This would be the third trial. Anyway, let's begin. Let's open up 
Let's open the way to a hope-filled future with our very own hands. After all that, I feel like we're doing exactly what Nakito wants us to do. In order to prepare for exploring the new island, we left the restaurant. Man, I gotta walk all my way over there? Oh! I gotta check for poops! Poop! Da 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 da, let's go. Da 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 da, da let's go. Damn it. I always go the wrong way. Now I go to the left. Yeah. No. Yeah. The beast that was blocking this bridge is gone. Then if we cross this bridge, we should reach the new island. With a feeling of hope in my heart that overshadowed any lingering fear of nervousness I felt, I crossed the bridge that led to the new island. What's here? So this Ooh. is the third island. Tinny Typhoon? completely different compared to the previous islands. The residences and ruins are all in shambles. Barely feels like a resort. And not just that, there's definitely no sign of any people here either. It feels a little dangerous somehow. It might be better to proceed cautiously. Hospital. Hey, Fuyu's in here. The killer is the person who killed an original murderer? Uh, the ambiance feels like something out of a horror film. I definitely don't want to be a patient here. Christ, she scared me. <laughs> Don't worry, even if you have a heart attack from getting too scared, this is a hospital after all. The moment I have a heart attack, I'll definitely have something I need to be worried about. This hospital is a little strange. Oh, that makes sense. I can't find any doctors, nurses, or patients anywhere. Just as I thought, here too. What? Uh, I notice all the medical supplies are still here. I'm not sure they'll be useful unless we check them. <laughs> That means I need to go check them, right? Understood. I'll go ahead and do that in a flash. Please don't hate me. I guess that means it's okay to leave this place to her, huh? Gotta read. There's a paper on the bulletin board. Apparently it's a hospital notice, but there's no one on this island, so who is this notice written for? I don't know. Jabra Walk Hospital. Oh. <laughs> of all people, it seems I'm immersed. I've immersed myself in nostalgia. This place is similar to the place where the mark of defeating the devil was carved into my body long ago. I have said too much. Forget what you heard for your sake. He was the one who volunteered that information, and now he's already telling me to forget it. So, what's over here? Patient room and consultation room are beyond this point. Well, what? I can't look at it? Oh, bummer. Alright, we'll go. We'll leave. Next. <gasps> Alright, the hiccups. Titty Typhoon. This building with its gaudy and tasteless neon lights obviously looks suspicious. I can't say for sure there's no danger. I should cautiously check what's inside. <laughs> Do this. Oh, I see it now. What the? Why are you shouting so suddenly? Don't surprise me like that. The truth is so overwhelming that I can't help shouting out. That's totally it. This is a music venue, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh my gosh, she's gonna die, isn't she? I never expected to find a music venue. I can't help feeling excited. Did I just say that twice? Huh? Did I just say that twice? No Not at all, I'm totally no fine. Clap, clap. You don't look very okay. Man, with a venue like this, Ibuki has no choice but to lend a helping hand. <laughs> this is just the beginning. Like this smug feeling you get when you explain something with elaborate metaphor no one understands. I feel like I understand, but at the same time, I don't understand. Oh well, if you've really taken a liking to this music menu, I'll leave you to investigate it. <laughs> what? Amazing. What 
a splendid place, Hajime. This must be a fabled, the fabled disco. Your tears fall every time. Oh no! Is this where hip youngsters wear feather fans and tight clothes and they dance their go-go's and lambadas? Anything? So this is the baton lighting control panel. Apparently you can control the baton lighting with this. Oh, my back. Executed. All right, we'll get the fuck out of here. Was I going left? Right, I was going right. Oh, that's right. I would like to go to the third island. Ooh. Uh oh. This ain't good. What are you doing here? This small building with guest accommodations and a parking lot. This is supposed to be a motel, right? I've seen it before in movies, but it's my first time actually seeing one in person. <laughs> what a rundown motel. It looks pretty unsanitary, too. It's just like costume. What? You've never seen my house. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know you were here. You don't stand out at all, so I didn't notice you. You're such a bitch. <laughs> anyway, this place is seriously run down. It's like the perfect home for minimum wage workers. Oh, a bunch of waifus died. Darn. We gotta make sure we check it out thoroughly as possible that there might be a clue here. If you think so, why don't you go inside and look around instead of standing around here doing nothing? Hey. You're probably too vulgar to get this, but there's a saying. Praise a fool and you may make him useful. Akane was checking out the inside. After I gave her a little praise, she got really excited about it. A dumbass like her is pretty rare, so we gotta make sure she's treated well. Her rotten attitude is this extreme. I can't really take it personally. It's a bunch of similar looking private rooms. The inside probably look the same too. It's dark and slightly dirtier. There's no doubt that a room like this would be perfect in a crime movie. If it's just to save the night, the cottage is good enough. Alright then. To the right. Oh. Wow. There are a bunch of street booths filled with electric appliances at the back of a narrow alleyway. Machines and other parts are cluttered together on display. It definitely seems fishy. But wait. With this many machines, we can probably find something we can use for two-way communication, right? Looks like it's best if I search around here. Uh, old fashioned, they can be used. I know, if we connect to the internet, we might be able to call for help with these. As soon as I thought of that, I grabbed a random laptop, pulled it out of the pile, and turned it on. Ooh, it turns on? I tried to see if it would connect to the internet. No use, looks like it's not connecting. Well, there's no way it'd be that easy, but just when I was about to give up. My eyes noticed the strange icons arranged on the desktop. We saw me X file. What is this? Without thinking, I clicked that strangely, strangely named icon. The document file, based on the format, it looks like it's some kind of report. I scanned across the words displayed on the screen. About the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. This horrendous event originated with some students of Hope Speak Academy causing a revolt. The students of the reserve department were dissatisfied with being treated differently than the primary department and began to fight the academy. At first, the dispute was confined to the campus and hopes were high that it would settle down someday, but things quickly escalated. Behind the scenes of that rebellion, a, hu a huge authority was exerting its influence. Eventually, it spread like an infection, provoking riots in various parts of the world. It was unlike any previous act of terrorism or coup. I don't know. It seems to have a much different purpose. However, no matter what we assume, we simply cannot apply reason to this subversive movement. Nonetheless, the destruction is not chaotic or disorganized. It is both purposeful and malicious. Therefore, it is a subversive movement full of despair. E I L. E I L. Post Cake Academy. Oh, hold on a second. I'm gonna write that down. E I L I. Forced to prolong their E. Is it either bad? 
Oh. Who survived? They were. Oh, all the vowels are gone. E. I. A. T. H. Lesson in despair. What? It's no use. The world would you garble to read beyond this point. But what is this? Boy. Hmm, how normal. Not normal like a dog barking. It's such a normal reaction that it's actually quite novel. Oh, hey! Really angry. Can't you react with more gusto? Don't you know how very important this scene is? Could it be? Were you the one who created this file? Why oh, my? What makes you think that? Because it's obviously the only thing I can think of. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Riots in various parts of the world. Hope's Peak getting destroyed. It sounds like something stupid you make up. What's Hope's Peak Academy Reserve Department? I've never even heard of that before. Ah, uh, really? That's weird. Of all people, you should definitely be the only one who knows about it. Uh-oh. I guess you forgot about it along with the memories of your school life, so it can't be helped. While we're on the subject of stupid things, that file said something about students who survived. Is that the referring is it referring to us? And the rest of that file is Hold on a sec, you guys. This, what the heck have you guys been talking about? It doesn't make any sense. Hmm. It is hot. Movies with no images, music with no sound, novels with no words. These are things that truly don't make any sense. You so you can't say something this simple doesn't make any sense. Who cares about that? Just answer me. Who are the students who survived? No. I wouldn't know an important story like that because the only thing I'm good for is being cute. Damn it, he ran away again. Uh. Hey, Hajime. Don't worry, it's gonna be fine. I'm sure he's making all that up. That's it, that's definitely it. I highly doubt. Oh, I didn't know you were there. A lot of TVs. What's that? What is this? There are so many machines, just by looking at them, I have no clue what they're used for. Uh. Uh, I don't really recommend that section. Hmm, what do you mean? Well, I'm pretty sure amateurs won't really get it. All that stuff there, it's all machines used for stuff like wiretapping or recording secret videos. Looks like there's some ancient looking surveillance cameras too. Machines used for recording secret videos? Don't get it twisted, I just have mechanical knowledge of these things. I've never actually used them before, all right? No one said you did. Hey, speaking of surveillance cameras, we're being constantly videotaped and wiretapped by Monokuma, right? Like, I'm kind of jealous because what does he see when we're watching Miss Sonia? Hello. He says he's never used these before. If I let him be, he's the type of person who will eventually use them. Are you serious? Are you shitting me? What happened? Of course not. I'm the ultimate mechanic, you know. Of course I'm happy when I'm surrounded by machines. Then you should look happier. Dude, try to understand how I'm feeling. I have this unexplainable, conflicting feeling about whether or not I should be happy. But why do you feel so conflicted? There's all this machinery lined up here. Hot damn, I want to take them apart. I want to dismantle them and look inside. That's how I usually think, right? But I know now is not the time for me to do something like that. And that's why I feel so conflicted. Is wanting to dismantle normal? Hell yeah, it's like if you have the hots for a chick, you want to take her clothes off, right? Damn straight. And you want to check her bone structure, right? Like her ribs or where her parts are... Mm. Yeah. Acrobatic sex fetish. Are you serious? Y'all serious? I see, so wanting to check a chick's bone structure makes me a little perverted. I'll see ya! I've been found! Why did I go buy more presents? Oh shit! Ah, microwave. Harry Terry would have never used his old microwave. He probably he would have probably used the latest kitchen equipment and cooked the world's tastiest dishes. But those dishes, he would have made a lot of people smile. But that's no longer. So this is a cell phone corner. It looks like they don't get reception. Even with all this Friday, they might as well be paperweights. Alright. Somehow it looks like she's fishing things out of the pile of electrical appliances. You looking for something? 
Well. Yeah, I was wondering if there are any game consoles in here. Sometimes old hardware is treated like junk. I already have a TV in my cottage, so it doesn't have to be a non-portable device. I'll settle for anything. If you do find something, let me know. I'll help you carry it back to your yeah. cottage. I don't... I don't think I've seen anything else, right? It's a movie theater. Showing right now, so please wait five minutes for the next showing to start. What are you are your eyes just for a show? Look around, this is a movie of theater, course. right? And then I'm obviously showing a movie. Showing a movie. Well, I guess there's no need to even ask. You're just gonna say this is next motive, right? Just like a Twilight Zone movie. Yeah. But I won't allow you to not watch it. I went to a lot of trouble to make this movie. If you don't want to watch it, I'm gonna be sad. I'm sure your movie is no different than the game you made. No, no. That game was a shoddy piece of crap, but this movie is definitely a masterpiece. Anyway, as long as I refuse to allow it, you will never have the choice to not watch it. I am Monokuma! On this island, my word is law. Now it's cold. I can't make up my mind. I'm hot, and then I'm cold. I'm yes, and then I'm no. There's no way I allow his reckless behavior, there's no way I allow it, but I'll forgive you if you purchase a Monokuma sticker at the goods counter over there. Monokuma sticker. Bag made of hemp cloth with a decal of Monomi's face on it. No. An all-purpose tote bag used for a variety of common tasks. It's a limited item, only one person can have it. By the way, apparently tote bags are originally invented to carry around ice. So how about it? Wanna buy it? I'm sorry I was born stupid. To tell you the truth, this is a very lucky sticker I received from a Wandering Miracle working piece. And it could be yours for the special price of I don't have! You can pay me back when you get off this island. If you don't like it, you can always just watch my... I don't believe it! But I want to watch it! As long as I can pay it after I get out of here, I'll pay anything. Even $1.5 million. You really don't want to watch my movie. That makes me sad. <laughs> But I want to watch the movie! Here. But... <laughs> Whoa, looks like the showing is over. Alrighty, I gotta click those questionnaires. But I want to watch it! There were a door open violently and one person appeared from within. Oh, of course. Oh, there's a sticker over there. Hey, hey, hey Nagato, please answer my questionnaire. Jeez. Doesn't matter if I answer it. That movie was so boring it was torture. Minutes felt like weeks while I was watching it. Hmm. Well, yes. I guess that's what art is because it's not really art unless it's a process common sense. I thought it was going to be another motive, but that's not the case. What a letdown. If money would have settled this, I should have just settled with the money. Nagato is so depressed. The movie must have been really, really bad. I definitely made the right call by not watching it. One second, I gotta get this. I knew you could do it. Oh yeah. The food shop. A lot of things like popcorn stuff. Okay. Okay, I guess I'll talk to him. I'm so tired from boredom. If money would have gotten me out of seeing it, I should have just settled it with money. Let me ask you something. If you were told you could pay $1.5 million and not watch that movie, That's I'd gladly pay it. Quick answer, the movie must have been that bad, huh? Hmm. Hey. Well, Hajime, after Nakito's glowing review, did you change your mind about watching my movie? Of course not. But I want to watch it. I'm going to go in anyway. Oh man. Oh man! Please wait. Woo. Did something happen? Well, 
Just now I went to the hospital and it appears McKenna has made a very serious discovery at the hospital. A very serious discovery at the hospital. It's not strange drugs or thick needles or anything like that, right? Hajime, it appears you are the same as me. If I turn around, he's there. That person in the wind. What? That person in the wind aired in 1984 and set the standard for every trendy drama that followed. Well? It's about a righteous rookie doctor and an elite senior doctor who fight over their mutual love interest. Actually, the lead actor and actress got married in real life. <laughs> anyway, please hurry. Okay. The second floor? Okay. Oh, I don't gotta walk. Hello there. It's like the last one. Yep. There are patients. There are patient rooms lining the hallway, but everyone is apparently gathered at the room in the very back. <laughs> As expected from the ultimate princess, she cordially asked me to come. She very much. She's very much in touch with the feelings of common folk. Nevertheless, I know my place, and I'm not reckless enough to go along with her. Since it's going to be such a touching scene, a worthless enemy like me would be just a nuisance, right? I... Uh, hey. You don't know what your talent is, but you're showing no distress, and you're even opening up to everyone. Great. That must mean you have a lot of confidence in yourself, right? You being sarcastic? Uh. Nope, not at all. But still, I do wonder what sort of talent you really possess. Since you've dragged it out this long already, I'm sure it must be an appropriately magnificent, magnificent talent. Lord. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? That was weird. Sounds like they're all really here, but what are they doing here? I had a feeling something bad was happening again. Cautiously, I opened the door. Bravo! seen a ghost. Hey, Hiko, are you alright? <laughs> it's just a scratch. It's nothing but a scratch. Just a flesh wound. That's not a scratch at all, though. Well, I'm relieved to see you. I was worried you were done for. <laughs> There's no way I'd die from something like this. I feel bad for you, son. There's no way I can die. Why not? Earlier I asked Monokuma and he showed me his medical records. There's a lot of sword related wounds, but they were relatively light wounds. No organs or nerves were damaged. Aww. Considering how fiercely he was attacked, this is pretty miraculous. <laughs> ah, you're a ballsy one. Is that is this what's called having the devil's luck? That's so. Maybe it wasn't luck. Well? Maybe Peiko gave her life to protect her. Are you Julia. serious? She protected him while she was getting attacked by that horde of marionettes. But still. But if she really wanted to protect Fuyu at all costs, it's not strange to think that she would have done that. No, I think it's better if we think about it like that. You... There's no way you can die, right? Why? Who knows? After forcing out those words, Fuyu turned in his bed away from us and stopped talking. He sh- oh. I think Fuyu should rest here for a while. His wounds haven't fully healed, so it'd be bad if he overexerted himself. <laughs> no need to worry. I'll take care of him for the time being. I mean, that's what nurses are for. Then. You hear that, Fuyu? Just relax and get some sleep. Leave it to me. I'll be the one who avenges you. That's obviously wrong. Seriously, he's not dead. Um... You shouldn't, you know, talk so loudly in front of the injured. Hold on. Fuyu has finally come back to us. You better not do anything reckless. I can't stand the thought of losing someone any longer. No. I know that. I just have to win, right? This is bad. He doesn't understand at all. Um, Do whatever you want. Sheesh. You're the kind of woman who refuses to listen once her mind is made up. I know that all too well. So do whatever you want. I don't care about you anymore. However. I'm never going to do it to you again. Huh? Uh, uh, Please keep yeah. your voices down. You're the loudest one here. Hey. It was my first time. I never thought something that feels so good even existed in this world. 
What you guys talking about? My body still hasn't forgotten, and now you're saying you're just gonna stop all of a sudden? It's hot. Uh oh. Hey, hey. Huh? Uh oh. What'd they do? As he spat those words, Snekomaro left the patient's room. Wait! Hold on, I can't live without it! What is it? With a voice that sounded like it wanted to cling on to Nekomaru, Akane rushed out of the patient's room. Oh my! What the fuck? <laughs> Humans are such foolish creatures. Hey, Hyoko. Huh. Nothing. Something's definitely wrong. I mean, she's glaring really hard at Fuyu. But I guess it makes sense. Fuyu is the one who got my hero killed by Peko. And Hyo was nearly framed as a killer. There's no way she's just going to forget that. Get over that. Hey, why are you making such a scary you know, face? Right? Like, no matter what it means, it, right? Hey, hey, hey! Oh, we gotta just follow them. A fire that didn't need to be started has become a towering inferno. Whoa! Maybe. Intimate relationship. Hmm. Ah! Ah. Maybe I'm a little ashamed of myself. Stop. Is there a bear in here? I don't see a bear in here. She's staring daggers at Fuyu. It doesn't feel like I can have a casual conversation with her. Okay. I see. The type of last will was probably inherited by Fuyu. <laughs> it's romantic, but it's just so sad. I should put my heart and soul into my song. If you make any loud noises, McCann's gonna be mad at you. Did you say something? Now you're too quiet. I can't hear you at all. Oh well, I think I should just leave her be. We can talk about it tomorrow. I know we're all tired from all the walking we've done today. Um, Please leave Fuyu to me. I will make sure he's nursed back to health. I'll do my best. Yeah. He's the other direction, just by the way. For now, we decided to call it a day and headed back to our cottages. Walking around all day wore us out, but the exhaustion we felt might have also been a feeling of relief. I arrived at my cottage much earlier than usual and fell into a deep, deep sleep. What are you thinking? Huh? You admire superheroes? Don't you understand what superheroes are like? Superheroes live to stop people from achieving their hopes and dreams, you know? They immediately attack people in groups because they don't have many friends themselves, you know? They're all short-tempered and say stuff like, Now I'm mad and I won't forgive you and laugh, you know? The least people who run away once the other guy starts fighting back, you know? You know? They're willing to use weapons even if they're fighting someone who is alone or, or unarmed, you know? There's always a winner, so they don't know what it's like to have a weakling's worry, you know? They like to wear flashy costumes, you know? Which means they're all a bunch of smart, good-looking, violent, stubborn, elitist friends. We don't have many friends. Uh, stubborn elitists who don't have any friends. Emergency! Emergency! Do you, do you really want... Do you really want to admire people like that? Ahem. Hope speak. Good morning. Now then. Let All right. So it's a Monday. I just wanted to play this for a little bit. I am going to stop here and come back tomorrow to play a uh, full stream of this game. Thank you for stopping by and I hope you stop.